Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Jack here from Waterscape Malaysia, located right here in Sramban, small town. Have you heard of Sramban? Okay. So uh, this video will be of me in uh, Australia to Garuk training to build a pond under Ben of Ben Harris Gardens. Thank you very much Ben. Big shout out. Three weeks was not enough to learn uh, all the tricks of the trade. As we say here in Malaysia, Ben, terima kasih. What we did there in uh, Tut Garuk was actually to build a recreational swim pond and it had a wetland filter, an upflow wetland filter with a stream going into the recreation pond and for skimming purposes we have a negative edge and a massive massive waterfall in the end where we we moved around really really gigantic rocks here. Yeah? I hope you enjoyed the video and if you enjoy it please uh, subscribe, like and comment. This is the location of the recreation pond located in uh, Tutgaruk, southern part of Australia, Melbourne. It's a beautiful property and the owners have got some nice fishes over here which they're going to swim with in their new recreation pond. Gives swimming with the fishes a whole different meaning. That's Ben over there with a snow cap surveying the area just before we start our excavation. All right, we're going to start off with the excavation. You can see the shape of the first level has already been cut and it's going down from here onwards another 1.6 meters so it's very easy going on sandy soil also we have a very skillful operator as well now we've got a fully excavated recreation pond you can see we've already cut shells for plants and stepping stones because I wasn't there on that day, I had to go and meet up with the Malaysian officials in Melbourne. So, uh, we'll just play you a short clip of Ben explaining how they rocked everything in. Alright, so what we've done, Jack, is put all the geofabric first thing, it didn't cave in. Uh, well, we do a bit there, and another bit there, another bit there, another bit there, another bit there. So, we used nine of those ten that you cut. Uh, then we burned it all together and we got the liner in now we managed to do that pretty smoothly so that whole roll that we had we put out across here i had jair fabric here as well so it was all all on jair fabric the whole way and then we were able to all four of us just walk that way and pulled it right out over it uh, so and then it just went down like a big sheet so it wasn't too bad so now we've put in the pebbles behind the rocks Got a nice flat sort of base everywhere for our next layer of rocks. Got one of the lights in here, so it's a six watt light for the depth, because yeah, you want a lot of light in the base. So we threaded it through this rib pipe, and I'll just put a little rock on it. It's not actually sitting on the, the light, so that can move around. Might even um, get a bit of foam to keep it solid. So we've marked a two and a half by three and a half meter a uh, hole for this. Um, we're going to be half a metre off where the deck's going to be over there. And we've done it this way, so we've got space over there. But also, so there's a bit more space here for some running water and a stream and something interesting in here. Alright, so the machine's dug our pit for the wetland filter. And I have marked out, well, my snorkel, which is there. I'm going to lock his left foot and the centipede which is over here that's the end of it where Matt's digging so we've dug down 900 mil um, that's to allow 240 for our aqua blocks and about 600 or thereabouts for our pebbles and so it's all flat so now we've just got to dig the last bit so that the uh, snorkel and the um, centipede are down lower these are the large double-sized aqua blocks which will be used to build a reservoir 
and this reservoir will hold around five thousand and a half to six thousand liters of water so we're starting work on the waterfall right now what ben is doing is applying a little bit of heat onto the underlayment to create a bond so when we lay the liner over it it will not move around too much this is where we're going to have our disappearing edge so up the top there we've got our wreck pond uh, it's a swim pond kit and down here it's about i reckon three meter drop so we've got a 24 double apple blocks reservoir here we hold about five and a half six thousand liters so we've got all that set up at the end of the bill just need to complete the edges get in some plants you can see the negative edge is working as it should level perfectly with a laser level found a beautiful stone to direct the water uh, look a little bit like a horse tail so it pulls up and it escapes into different pockets of the waterfall there is a recreation pond as you can see This is where the wetland filter is Water flows in Got a bend down there, 3 meters down There you go, we've got the plants in as well A little bit of aging to be completed also Right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you at the next one Hello, I'm down here at Tukaruk. So this is a pond and waterfall that I completed in September. Uh, landscaping's been finished around it, or nearly finished. So, quick overview. Three metre high waterfalls and cascades. Uh, large reservoir underneath here with a couple of pumps in it. Now, bear with me, I'm gonna run up the top. So, I'm gonna have some shaky camera work. And here we are at the top. So this is the main pond. We've got a heap of beautiful goldfish in here. You know, water lilies and irises. Let's just have a quick look at them. Very happy goldfish. So the pond's you know, 1.7 meters deep. Um, you can see at the bottom, although the reflection is gonna make that hard for this. And that's the view as you're looking over the edge of the waterfall.